Hi, and welcome to another uh, video from Intensive Driving Courses NI, a video channel uh, set up for the benefit of giving advice uh, for learning to drive in Northern Ireland and some advice that you can use post-test as well. Now, these videos, as I've maybe mentioned if you've watched the channel before, these are uh, to advise and assist alongside the current training that you're receiving, either from friend or family or from your instructor. Uh, today's video is just going to give a few sort of bits of information on what to expect on the day of the driving test. Uh, basically, this is one of the big sort of life events. And uh, when you're sort of going down, you will have obviously your knowledge, etc. But I'm just going to go through sort of a rough sort of um, schedule of what happens. So first of all, when you present yourself uh, to the driving test center, uh, you will need your license. Now, that is your card, but your license. Preferably uh, bring your counterpart, which is the green uh, sheet of paper, like an A4 sheet, and also your theory pass certificate. Um, if you're using uh, your own vehicle or a family's vehicle, you will need a extra interior mirror, uh, which you can sort of gain from sort of motor factor shops, uh, proof of insurance, tax, MOT, uh, etc. Now, if it's your instructor's car, he or she will obviously have gone through all the bits of information. They may have obviously taken you down to the test centre as well to let you have a look around. So, sort of generally, uh, most clients will present themselves down at the driving test centre approximately about sort of 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most before the test. So let's say your test is at 5 past 11, which is one of the slots in Northern Ireland. Uh, you're better sort of being in the centre, etc. proximity, roughly about 10 to. Remember, you need to get parked uh, into one of the bays, which will be set out and generally marked in most driving test centres in Northern Ireland and reverse into the space. So you're sort of pointing out to go forward. Um, Head into the waiting room, again, sort of maybe eight to 10 minutes, etc., on average, um, to go just to get yourself settled and obviously to use any of the sort of bathroom, toilet facilities, etc. So when you're sitting in the waiting room uh, with friend or family or your instructor, etc., your driving examiner will make themselves sort of known in and around the time they'll come out. And generally it is full name. Um, you present yourself and the first thing they're going to do is check your license uh, two parts, etc. Um, they then asked um, you to check that the email where the test was booked is correct, which could obviously be yours or possibly your instructor's. Uh, the test result, whether it is positive or negative, that will go to that email uh, and you have the chance there to change that if need be. Uh, details of the car then will be checked either from friend or family uh, presenting obviously the paperwork or your instructor will give information about the, his or her vehicle. Before you head out, uh, the examiner will ask you, are you going yourself? Are you going solo, etc.? Is there anybody accompanying you? Is your instructor or family friend coming with you? Now, obviously you'll have decided that um, before. And generally what it means is you can have somebody present sitting in the back. Now they can't take part in the test. All they can do is observe what goes on. Sometimes people want somebody there for moral support. Sometimes people prefer to do it by themselves. So that's obviously uh, something for you to discuss and to decide yourself between whoever's taking you, whether that's your instructor or friend or family. You'll then go out to the vehicle. Uh, the first thing that will happen when you go out, sort of somewhere around the, maybe the side of the test centre, you'll be asked to read a number plate. That is from 20 and a half metres, approximately 75 feet. And that's obviously to see that you can read road signs, uh, direction boards and roundabouts, etc. You'll then be uh, asked possibly to open the uh, bonnet of the car if there's going to be bonnet checks done on your show and tell, or you might be asked just to get into the vehicle. If you're asked to get in, your examiner will then be checking around just to make sure that there's L plates front and back and also that there's no cracks in any glass, any gouges and tires, etc. Any loose or damage and parts may be hanging off. If you're underneath the bonnet, uh, you'll be asked to open the bonnet, but the examiner will not be in the vehicle at that stage. So if the bonnet pull is sort of down in the bottom left hand passenger footwell, you'll be able to obviously open the door pull the bonnet, etc. Close the door over as well. Don't leave that sort of hanging open, especially uh, with wind that could catch it. You'll then be asked two questions, a show and a tell question. And hopefully, as I say, you'll have gone through those uh, with the vehicle that you're driving, etc. Once you get into the vehicle, 
Your examiner then will give information on the test, unless they've already done that on the walk to the vehicle, that it's going to be approximately 35 to 40 minutes, etc. And they'll give you what way they're going to give you directions and stuff like that. You'll then be asked to get yourself ready. That's you obviously making sure your car's set, seats, mirrors, doors, etc. And then off you go. When you come back at the end of the test, uh, generally if you have not carried out a reverse maneuver, some test centers you will be asked to do a bay park to finish off. If you have done a maneuver, more than likely you'll be just edged nose first into a space. Once the engine's off, that is the end of the test and then uh, you'll be given the result. And if it is positive news, uh, they'll then say what happens next. And depends on the license number that you have, they may be able to send that license off for you and that will then come back in the post. If it is a certain range uh, or further back on the driving license number, you will have to do that yourself and you've up to two years to trade that in. If the test hasn't gone successful, then they will give you information on what happened and you can have somebody present on the debrief, uh, debrief excuse me, to listen into that. So that's a few things, folks, uh, on what happens on the day of the test. Um, when you're actually getting down close to the test, folks, just remember it's a test on driving ability and the drive safe, legal and convenient on the road. Uh, nerves will obviously be a big part on the day. And as you sort of get closer, expect a lot of questions that you'll maybe have that you'll need to ask for your examiner, friend or family, etc. So join us again soon, folks. We will have more videos coming on Intensive Driving Courses NI. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell for further notifications. And uh, if you're currently obviously in the middle of your driving lessons, folks, please enjoy. Please keep safe on the roads and we'll speak soon.